The friend of Missouri broadcasters is given to a non-broadcaster, generally a governmental figure. Individuals must have demonstrated general support of issues favorable to broadcasters and the NBA. Tonight's recipient is not a broadcaster, yet for 17 years held the position of associate representative of the NBA Board of Directors. Attorney Mark Sableman's participation has been a tremendous asset in board meetings, along with being the NBA legal counsel for state issues for our state of the Missouri legal hotline. He has been with Thompson Coburn LLP in St. Louis since 1989. For many stations in this room, Mark Sableman has directly helped bring you advertising revenue. Mark, along with the team at Thompson Coburn, brought to Missouri's commercial broadcasters the biggest legal victory in our history. In January 2020, after an 11-year battle, the state of Missouri was found to be in violation of the First Amendment of the, of the Constitution of Commercial Free Speech in regards to statutes that prohibited the advertising of alcohol prices and discounts. Now, if it's legal to advertise inside a business, it can publicly be advertised over Missouri radio and television stations. He guided the NBA in a revision of our bylaws in 2014, the same year he produced the antitrust statement for our board meetings. Mark has been a part of nearly every legal panel at our annual conventions for the past 15 years. Mark stepped down from our board last year to make room for another great attorney from Thompson Coburn, Mike Neppel. However, he still serves the broadcasters of Missouri by representing your interests on the Missouri Press Bar Commission. As a member of that organization, he oversaw the production of three Missouri court training videos for your broadcast newsrooms. He is passionate about our industry, being a strong advocate for the improvement of anti-slap legislation and strengthening sunshine law in our state. Over the years, the Missouri Broadcasters Association has had a number of great friends to receive this award. Very few have been a friend of ours for as long as Mark. Now we get to formally recognize him with this honor. Please welcome this year's Friend of Missouri Broadcasters Award recipient, Mark Sableman. Thank you so much, Mark, and everybody. I feel great to be recognized as a friend of Missouri Broadcasters because I truly feel that way. I do want to say at the outset, though, that I need to fill in a little bit of what Mark hasn't told you. The attorney-client relationship is a partnership. There's two parties, the attorney and the client. And I have been incredibly uh, helped over the last 25 or so years that I've been your counsel because I've had a fantastic client. The MBA has been represented in that relationship by three outstanding leaders, Don Hicks, Mark Gordon, and now Chad Mahoney. Each of these people has had incredible intelligence, foresight, strategic thought, high ethics, and brilliant and creative ideas that we've worked together with. So all of the things that Mark told you about as legal victories and legal successes have been partnerships with this fantastic client. And your, your leadership uh, has done as much as I have done and my partners have done. Let me turn to why I'm happy to be recognized as a friend of Missouri Broadcasters and why I like being a friend of broadcasters. I thought back to a cartoon I saw some years ago I think it was in The New Yorker, and it showed a man intently focused on his TV set in his living room. And in the background, his wife is speaking to a friend and said, Harold takes the news seriously. To him, they're all real people. Well, they are real people. The news and the, what broadcasters do matters. It matters in our lives, it matters as we understand our communities. And I think what Curtis Warren said a few minutes ago, he said that he goes back to the reason that we all got into this business a long time ago. And that is that broadcasting makes a real difference and broadcast news in particular. And obviously it's a troubled time right now for broadcasting because there are all of these uh, forces in our, in our attention economy that are drawing people away from traditional media. There's social media sites that are engaged in uh, you know, 
manipulation of, of eyeballs for, for revenue. There are cable programs that are playing to emotions and prejudices rather than fact. There are uh, all sorts of internet sites that are grabbing attention away from you and feeding those people with misinformation, disinformation, and hate. Against that background, you local broadcasters are doing something totally different and making a real difference in people's lives. You are going out and doing open-minded news gathering as we've seen in these awards. You are going out and engaging with your communities. You're reviving tradi journalistic traditions of objectivity and investigation. You're standing firm for independence and integrity. And every time you do the basic thing of reporting the news fairly, objectively, and completely, you're providing a tremendous service to the community. By doing that, you're allowing people to understand themselves and their communities better. You're allowing people to relate to themselves better and help their communities thrive. And of course, you're promoting democracy because democracy depends on informed citizens. So the bottom line is, what can be better than being a friend of Missouri broadcasters? I'm just like that cartoon character. I take your profession seriously, and I feel so privileged to have been able to help you out over the last 25 years with legal counsel, advice, assistance, some litigation, and all to the best, I think, for, of the communities that broadcasting benefits. So thank you so much for giving me this opportunity, and thank you so much for the honor tonight.